And then we get to I uh, really what I think is the main event of this WrestleMania. <laughs> uh, it's John Cena and Nikki Bella versus Miz and Maurice. Mm. You um, mess with my man, I'm going to break your... And it just bleeps out. And I don't know. I filled that in myself, <laughs> Pete. And I think what I filled in was worse than what they must have said. <laughs> I could not work it out. This, somehow against all the odds, Pete, we are back at WrestleMania mm. with a Cena and Miz rematch. <laughs> it's what we all wanted. <laughs> what no one wanted. Mm. I'll tell you what, Pete, this match is made absolutely sensational by the addition <laughs> of Maurice and Nikki Bella. <laughs> I'm going to go on record, Pete, and say, you know I've been unofficially quoted about this match many times. <laughs> I think this is the most brutal and horrifying and absolutely perfect angle in the history of professional wrestling. Right, yeah. There are no punches pulled in this. It is a Either complete in... breaking of kayfabe. Storyline. It is a savaging <laughs> of the man who is the company's biggest babyface by the company. Yeah. I think, you know, he's been a babyface for years and this is the most, the single most damaging thing that you could do <laughs> and man it's done learned, to perfection. And a man who learned Chinese for them. <laughs> yeah. Cena did everything for them. Yeah. The one thing he was incapable of doing was loving. <laughs> and they pick up on that yeah. and they fucking run with it. <laughs> this is our TV bedroom. The bedroom I actually sleep in is down the hall, and Nicole's actual bedroom is on another floor. But this bedroom is very important for making our relationship look legitimate for the cameras. It's astonishing. The Miz performing Cena. Normally, when other wrestlers pretend to be other wrestlers, it's shit. In this, the Miz does a performance of John Cena in Total Divas. And what he doesn't do is he doesn't go, "Uh, I'm John Cena and I'm a real dummy. Yeah. He has a thing going, I will robotically tell you that I love you. (laughs) What the f... And I couldn't be happier. I love you. And I love you more than I've loved anyone in my entire life. Nikki... I love you. I love me too. The big thing about this storyline is it's been playing out concurrently (laughs) with Total Divas, the reality show that the Bellas were a major part in. And what this show did was it really, for the first time, it showed you what John Cena was like outside the ring. And what he was like outside of the ring was this cold, (laughs) distant, reptilian space alien who would basically dress formally in his own house and continually give Nikki Bella rules and regulations. It was the strangest thing where he would constantly treat her like he was an avuncular cartoon bear, (laughs) and she was a boy who was trying to light a fire. And he'd always be (laughs) stepping in going, now, 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 put down those matches. It would be like that, where he'd just be continually... Like like an American sitcom dad. Oh, it's so strange. (laughs) So strange. Before we do, these are the house rules. It's very simple. Yeah, John, you need to give him the ground rules. Formal dinner once every week, usually on Wednesday. Shoes are encouraged for formal dinner, so good tonight by obeying the rules. But wear a clean set of shoes. Respect the house as if it was your own. And if your own habits are leaving your towels on the floor, not attending to your laundry, not making your bed every day, then change your habits and respect ours. Every evening, when formal dinner is over, the ladies will retreat to the drawing room, which is upstairs. The men will retreat to the cigar room. Every morning, we will have morning coffee together. We will have an evening fire outside. What the hell? Trash is picked up every Monday. The doors. To shut. Shut. Lift. If you guys are going to be up late, please text me or tell me. Because this is a shoot for a state and I have a lot of guns. John has a lot of roles. And she'd constantly be looking for his approval. And he'd constantly be sort of going, if only the world were that simple. You know? (laughs) I didn't mean to lie. Don't. I really was kidding. Of course I was going to tell you that I consumed calories, but that just sounds so silly. It was, it, it was such a strange thing. They continually refer, in the bits that Miz does, talking about their plastic fabricated lives. This is their number one baby face. And Miz and Maurice just, I don't know whether we were supposed to go, oh, I feel this is really unfair on John Cena, who yeah. is obviously capable of love. I mean, they read that one wrong. <laughs> they fucking we read got, it wrong. Yeah, he's a cunt, isn't he? <laughs> on a weekly basis, it was Nikki Bella basically saying, John is breaking my heart. I love him and I just don't see a future and he won't commit and I'm really scared of losing him and everything. <laughs> and then you get John Cena going, don't you worry, you're pretty little head missy you know <laughs> it was just a fucking nightmare keep to the plan having then Maurice dress as Nikki Bella just essentially sort of going oh I'm with a man who doesn't love me and I'm never gonna have a baby <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are we I mean it's before we do these are the house rules rule number 11 of John Cena's house rules house rule if you guys are gonna be up late please text me or tell me rule number eight of John Cena's house rules Never ask me to advance your career when the cameras are rolling. Tisk, tisk. 
John, Cena, will you marry me? I'm not gonna marry you because I don't love you. I only love myself. John. John. I love you. I only love myself. It must have been so hard for Nikki Bella to watch this, where you're just like, all of my deepest fears and anxieties... About my real-life husband. ...are being mocked by the Miz and fucking Maurice, right? The Miz as well. The fucking Miz. It is the single most real angle of all time. There's there's never been there was, anything that's there a was, savage. There was other ones where like they'd been cheated. I can't remember who was involved in it, to be the, honest. The, the Edge, Lita, yeah, Edge, and Edge, 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 Matt Hardy thing. Matt Hardy, yeah. But the two of them were... I don't know. There was a thing about, you know, uh, fighting over a woman. Mm. Seems less than about going your fiance yeah. who is there does not love you and will not marry you because it, essentially he is a freak and <laughs> you are a needy and unlovable woman yeah what the fuck <laughs> I, I mean jesus christ there is a, a little bit where they've got maurice is like holding up the wedding photos of her and miz mm. she's going never gonna have it never gonna have it you know i mean uh, all those unspoken fears of a relationship that is unequal. Yeah. Just being exploited. I mean, <laughs> it was amazing. I am I am going to tell you something. Again, let me put this on record. <laughs> Miz is fucking sensational in this. <laughs> Miz is really good in the match as well. Unbelievable. Really good. It's introduced by the weatherman Al Roker, for some reason, from the Today Show. Uh, <laughs> who... I'm Al Roker, but today you can call me Chocolate Thunder. He <laughs> shouts. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest commentator, WWE Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Glad to see you, King. What a crowd. This is awesome. Thank you. If you do get a chance, uh, it, it sounds a little bit counterintuitive to mm. say, go and watch Total Divas. Yeah. Because you do have to sit through a lot of um, British reality TV, very different from American. Yeah. At least British ones, British people, by and large, given a chance, will get really shit-faced and fuck. <laughs> in America, obviously, it's much more sort of like, you know, so Natty forgot my birthday and it's not the first time. Mm. Um, that, that is crap. Yeah. But what it is also is it's John Cena's single worst decision ever was to appear on that show because what he did is he allowed cameras into the strange bizarre world of John Cena but would he not have turned on to John Cena public John Cena and that's why he comes across so strangely I, I think he thinks he's quite an inspirational character and he is like this wise military man who is super successful and it's almost that thing of going I am very successful so mm. I cannot be in any way weird he he success made him weird his whole corporate speak inspirational poster tweet and everything mm. where you are just going have you forgotten who you are or what you are and <laughs> you've just you become do, yeah. this weird brand and it's a brand man walking around a big house talking down to women I mean it's just <laughs> weird just all these so, feelings okay, you're, started you're to talking surface. about like 10 things at once I mean, how, how differently, like, Daniel Bryan, who is married to Brie Bella, comes across. Yeah. You will like Daniel Bryan ten times more. Right. You will find John Cena watching Total Divas, <laughs> and it's the only reason to watch it, a hundred times stranger than you ever imagined he would be. <laughs> Just a strange, cold, <laughs> weird man. It really gives you the creeps. Yeah. Honestly, if you had a sister and you met him, you'd be like, mm. going out with John Cena. Within two weeks, you'd be going... It's just something not right. Yeah. Just no. something not right. Yeah. What is it? He owns a shed. Where's that shed? Where's that? <laughs> he, he won't tell me. A lot of the rooms me. in the house are locked, but um, he says he, he says I mustn't go in. Even if, I, even if I think I hear voices <laughs> from them, I must never open the door. Um, oh, God. It's, so, like, it, it's just a room that's full of like, broken drill bits. There's loads of them. What's that about? It's just children's shoes. Hundreds <laughs> of them. But they're brand new. They don't mean anything. <laughs> I mean, The Miz starts off and The Miz suddenly realises something has clicked. And he is so much more popular than Cena in this match. And I think it just all comes from this fucking 
savage. You, you are just like, you, are, there is no other word for it. It's, it's a savaging. <laughs> and you sort of go, I don't think Miz understands quite how brutal yes. this whole thing is. And not even, Cena's got literally broad shoulders. It's, I know, the poor that woman. All, that it's all aimed at. And it's, My God, how did they ever, how did he ever? Taking fucking... advantage of her horror. It's almost worse that Cena agreed to it. Because Cena can't Cena, see, he cannot Cena. see it. Well, see, exactly. So Cena's biggest problem is that he agreed to this. Yeah. Not all the other stuff. Yep. But the, it's indicative of a wider problem. It's the canary in the Cena mind yep. that he what? agreed to this angle. Why are your eyes leaking oil? <laughs> 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 it's tears. It's salt tears. Will we not rust your diode? <laughs> you know, he always, I tell you, oh God. He also has done this going, but I know. I yeah. know what the end result of this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then what we know <laughs> is that Miz and Maurice were fucking right the whole time. Jesus, <laughs> it's a, like a double. This is a great storyline because it doesn't stop at WrestleMania 33. No. It carries on through mm. the rest of their lives. <laughs> and then looking back on it, it's changed the angle. Oh, lordy. Um, it is the first time Miz gets on the turnbuckles. It's the first time there's ever been on WrestleMania a Miz's awesome chant. Yeah. And credit to Miz, he is like, I am not wasting this opportunity. No, and, it, and he is better than I've seen him ever. He does fantastically in this. He is so stoked to see how it's going. He has never gone, I am on the right side of the crowd. This is, and it goes to his head. He is so excited in this whole thing. Just, he's never seen it. Once again, his head goes paler than the rest of his body as he wrestles. Don't understand why that happens. Might be about circulation, but it's weird. Uh, it's just Miz basically beating up John Cena mm. for a long time. When Nikki and John Cena do a matching five knuckle shuffle mm. and then their finishing moves, yeah. the crowd give them nothing yeah there is no sense of people willing them on in any way mm. it is over now nikki bella has looked anxious throughout the whole match mm. and i think you know she's got a bit of a fixed face where she's smiling but it's almost like her eyes are a bit dead like she's over preoccupied with something this and is that, my life <laughs> that presumably is the thing of going what am i going to do if he does or doesn't propose mm. because it seems like this would be a nice thing to do so maybe he'll do it at the end or maybe he'll do it when we're backstage <laughs> or maybe he won't do it and will i leave the ring will i start crying before i get backstage so he hasn't done it in the ring but he might do it backstage but if he doesn't do it in the ring he might not also do it and you can just see she's just like i don't know what's happening yeah what, what it is is she is refusing to let herself have hope throughout this whole thing she is a woman without hope even when they get to the end they play the music and then cena starts his proposal mm. which let me tell you in the history of proposals i'm sure there have been some fucking stinkers but I don't think many of them have started with the lines, this is what you wanted. (laughs) (laughs) This, this is what you wanted over a year ago. He's making it clear that (laughs) what he's about to do, if it was his own free will, he'd have nothing to do. He wouldn't touch it with a fucking This is what you wanted. This is what you you wanted. I mean, the people out there and the Miz and the woman. She was in surgery, he mentions, with a broken neck. And he said, I remember I told you I asked you a question when you were uh, doped up, basically. And I wouldn't tell you what it was. And she was was like, every day you've been asking me what it is. I was like, this sounds like fucking nightmare. She said, will you please tell me what the question is? No, no, no. And he says, well, I told you when the time is right. I'm going to tell you. And it's all this sort of like, just... Just fucking speak. Stop sort of explaining. <laughs> I told you the rule. This is the rule. And, and the rule was, I will tell you when it's the right time. Well, now I have decided it's the right time. It's so fucking, get your hands off this fucking person's life. You're all yeah. over it with your fucking, oh, it's like a cage. <laughs> and you wouldn't remember what we talked about. And for a year and a half, not a week went by where you asked me continuously, well, what happened? What happened? And I promised I would tell you when the time was right. The time is right. Then he says, the the question that I asked you was I whispered and I said, can you hear me? (laughs) I thought that'd be great to end it there. (laughs) And uh, she said, yeah. And I said, well, I only have one question. Do you know one day I'm going to marry you? And you said yes. And she kind of goes, and he goes, I just need you to say yes one more time. And (laughs) out comes the ring. 
Credit to the crowd. They don't boo. They don't go, <laughs> no, no, no. They bring it out there. And uh, she could have been the biggest fucking star in the industry if she had <laughs> kicked him in the nuts. Just punted him. I will not be a pity wife. Yeah. I am not a prize to be put up with. I am not a burden. I am not a decision that is made through fucking lacklustre fucking treacle decision making. <laughs> I am Nikki Bella. I am astonishing. Oh, man. Man. They're in, they then just start making out in the ring, which again is fucking horrible. I mean, it's just, it's awkward. Lip. Oh, it's terrible. And then um, out they go. Now, that marriage never happened. Right. The engagement was broken off. Apparently, it was broken off by Nikki Bella. She did have a thing of, and I've seen it as a phrase where a friend of hers came forward and said she was not going to accept a pity proposal. And I think that pity wife, it does sound like a Chinese thing, doesn't it? You know, she, pity she, the, yeah, yeah, you know, there's a group of women and they're known as the pity wives. And <laughs> Nikki Bella was not going to be a pity wife. I watch this back now and I think, I hope, I hope Nikki Bella looks at this and goes, that was a, a, a watershed moment, really. Mm. Because that was the thing about, you know, I got everything I wanted, but it wasn't the right guy. And I hope John Cena looked back on it. And I hope goes beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> and steam comes out of his ears. <laughs> that was a bad day. Does I not compute. <laughs> Does not compute. Error, error. <laughs> oh, the Miz. The Miz was right. It's not the best match by a long chalk. If I was going to watch anything, if I had five minutes to watch of this WrestleMania, <laughs> I would watch that build up where the two of them give a kicking that in any other circumstance, if you weren't part of a wrestling show, it would be, it, you would get two years in prison for harassment. It is fucking unbelievable. Oh, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> Oh, wait, you guys are all wearing shoes. Wait, why are you guys wearing shoes? Well, we thought... You thought no shoes. I know, but I texted you. I asked you, do we wear yeah, shoes? Yeah, no shoes in the house, but you don't show up to a formal dinner or shoeless. See, I'm seeing the music in my head. Wow. Uh, can you guys spray tan me real quick? Why do you need to be spray tanned? Because John likes when I'm Tanner. It takes like five seconds. Let me uh, let me ask you a weird question. You don't have to answer if you want. What's cool is that in today's society, you don't do this. No. Oh, nice. Don't think I'm not ready for that. Oh. Love, we don't need to do that right now. I do. Yeah. That's why not. You gotta, get it on. you gotta get it on immediately. You gotta get it on immediately. Let's... It can't happen again. No, I know. I can't believe she just bit you. I'm fine, but that is not acceptable. No, I I'm know. I'm not going to use the word cool. It's just not acceptable. Oh, I agree. What do I do? This place is on three lakes. There are gators, and you walk towards one, you get what you deserve. What do I, what do, I do that's so bad? I walk on eggshells because you can be extremely stern, and it's intimidating. How do you mean? 